Alex Weidman, freshman defenseman, Louis Belpedio. Coach, if you want to give the audience an opening statement. Well, I thought, uh, obviously, uh, to be in a, a venue and historic venue and a great city of Chicago and um, to go out there and it took a while for us to be out there. I think, uh, uh, I don't think we expected uh, it to be such a delay, but I think uh, kudos to everybody that worked hard to get uh, get the game in. Um, you know, it's a typical game in our league. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, who you're playing. Western, we know just, uh, we have so much respect for the way they play. They just play hard every every night and every shift. And we knew they were going to make a push, and they did. And uh, we were fortunate enough to hang on there at the end. Well, it was obviously you referenced about the play earlier. What were you guys doing in the same way the team as best as possible? Well, you just, uh, I, I warned the guys earlier today in our meeting that you got to expect the unexpected and just to stay, try to stay focused. And I thought the guys did a pretty good job of that. Um, you know, we tried to get them going again and into their routine every every time we got a half hour that we were going to be delayed. We tried to get them back in their routine. But after the third one, they were calling my bluff. So uh, I'm glad we got the game in. Coach, yeah, he's going to be fine. Thank God. Uh, it's a pretty good cut, uh, real close to uh, the tendon, but um, a lot of blood. But he's going to be okay, and uh, we're we're thankful for that. Coach, with uh, all four of your goals coming from in the slot area or right in front of the crease, was it a point of emphasis considering the conditions to get the puck uh, as close to the net as possible? All seven goals tonight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you play in a situation where the ice is bad. Um, you've got to get pucks to the net. Uh, I thought we did that. I thought they did that. Obviously, that's why it's a one-goal game. But um, I mean, there's no secret to playing in an outdoor game uh, with, you know, with the ice the way it is. You got to get pucks to the net, and you got to keep things simple, and try to be cute, and you get in trouble, and and uh, you know, it's it's a simple game plan. And uh, you know, like I said, we got an extra bounce tonight. Louis, a bunch of your, you and a bunch of your teammates are from around here. What does this night mean to you to be able to play on a stage like this, close to home? Um, it's pretty exciting for me. Uh, this is my first outdoor game, actually. So to be able to play like in Chicago, close to home, is exciting to have family and friends here, and even better to get the win. So happy with the way it turned out. Um, I don't know. I tried to stay as relaxed as possible and just worry about playing the game and not worried about what was going on outside. So um, I think we played a great game, and that's why we were able to come out on top. Yes, just how much did the uh, conditions of the ice affect the way you played or the way that your thought process was going in the middle of the game? Um, that's tough. I think you just had, like Coach was saying, you just had to be simple with the puck. You can't try to make the fancy play and, you know, all the goals were ugly right in front of the net, and you know that's what it takes sometimes. And I think we were able to do that a little better than they were, and that's why we won tonight. Any more questions? Uh, Coach, obviously a couple goals uh, back to back by Western Michigan. What do you do as a team, you know, to try to relax and settle back in defensively, especially? Well, you got to play the game for 60 minutes. Uh, you know, we did that to them, and they stayed in the game and and fought fought back and. Um, in our league, that, that's the way it goes. It goes back and forth. You're going to score some. You're going to give some up. Um, we're quickly learning that you can bend, but you can't break. And uh, you know, you've know you got to put it behind you. There's nothing you can do about it. We play good teams every night. And uh, uh, you got you to learn to deal with it, man, because everybody's out to gain points right now. It's crunch, crunch time during, uh, in the end of the season here. And, um, you know, we knew they were going to come. Uh, we, uh, we warned them. Sometimes you got to warn them 10, 15 times. But, uh, you know, it's uh, two good teams going at it. And, uh, you know, it, it, uh, like I said earlier, we, we were able to get the lucky bounce or the extra bounce tonight. And um, you play that game again 10 more times, who knows? You probably get 10 different outcomes. But, um, you know, we, I thought our guys did a good job in the first two periods for sure. Was there any disappointment with the 
I couldn't tell. I, I, from from the bench, we could feel the energy behind us. So, uh, and then when you're coming out, you you got the loss and lunatics coming out. So, those are those guys are always fun, and and our band's over on the other side. So. Uh, we, we really didn't, I couldn't really tell. I thought uh, we tried to stay focused on the game. And um, I, I will say this, the people that, the Coyote and, and, and the people uh, that, that ran the game, um, they're unbelievable. Just to be here all night trying to get the ice the way it is uh, <clears throat> so that we can play it. Excuse me, so we can play nothing but kudos to them. Uh, this, this is a tough, tough job, right? You go from five degree weather on Thursday to 40 degree weather and then something happens that's out of your control that has nothing to do with the weather and, and you have to deal with it. So they did a great job. I, you know, if they invite us to come back again, we're, we're here. This is a great thing for our game, for college hockey. Uh, I think it's a great thing for, for the players, the experiences and memories that they'll have for a lifetime and a great thing for, for our alums and our fans and, and everybody associated with, with the programs that, that play in it. Thanks, guys. Nothing for this guy? That's all right. He's quiet anyway. Thank you.